Hello and welcome to Dungeons of Dreadmore. You have to name the expansion pack edition now. So yes, I've downloaded the new expansion pack. We have new classes, but before that, we have Cain Bloodbane to play through. Now I've also added a couple of additional mods to this, which um, add a few more skills and a few more. Um, well, one of them is actually interior decoration mod. I'll put the names up if I remember to. But either way, in theory there should be more rooms, and in theory the game should be loading now. There it is. So, Cain Bloodbane. It's been a while since I last played. He is a mace. He has fire skills. He has the traditional Berserker Rage, which I pick, seem to pick for most of my characters for some bizarre reason. Um, okay. So we can work with this. Let us open the door. And we've discovered the natural pit of things, and we walked over a trap. I'm just checking things actually, because it. No, that's alright. Just wasn't sure. So, character. We have the Foppish Tunic, we have Mace, we have a Cracked Orb. What do we actually have that's worth putting on here? We have virtually nothing of relevance, so I suppose from that point of view we'll put the Cracked Orb on. Which has enhanced it, and means we've got um, additional. What is that? Five additional points of mana, an additional point of uh, critical chance. So I can't really complain with that. So, Mr. Bloodbane, let us try and. No, let's not disarm things just yet. Let's instead kick open the door. As Mashing Open the Door reveals, a diggle. Berserk Rage! Yeah, we're not that strong. Need more mana. Never out of mana. Alright, well, thankfully you burned yourself to death and you have actually just gone and killed yourself. For which I thank you. There's another one. Gonna be a little careful here. We're quite close to leveling, but ultimately I'd rather not um, die here. So let's eat the aged blue cheese to get some hit points up and then head towards that potato. Alright, we have no mana left but you've taken a bit of damage here so hopefully... Oops, I meant to whack you, not um, that. Berserker Rage! And we get some blood mana. A handy wand. Need a hand with magic? Well, here you go. We know how to make x-ray specs now. Spectacles, clear vision, and some ale. We're gonna bash open the chest and that gets us an iron breastplate. Not a bad thing to find. Now sure, it's cutting our magic power down quite heavily. We'll lose... Uh, also lose a point of actual mana, isn't it? So I assume it is. Let's just put it on and see. does give us a lot of defences. Unfortunately, we're not going to be using that for the moment. We might come back to it, but for the moment, I don't think it's worth doing. Oh, another amulet of another place of Krong. Now this might change things. We're going to try and use the iron breastplate on it. Is that necromancy resistance? That would be necromancy. Necrotic resistance. Alright, so that's two good uses. Oh, native gold. And a woodsman's axe. Which unfortunately lowers our power. Because that mace does improve our magic casting abilities, so that's fine. That's some copper wire. A gemstone. Ouch. Cheese, please. And some lockpicks. We didn't take burglary as a skill, so we're going to move on. Lockpicked. Fresh steak. Gold. Little black book.
Now it is actually quite tempting in place of the orb. For the moment. So we're going to use the black book. Yes, thanks for that. Uh, Anti-magic field. What's over here, if anything? Nothing that we can see. I'll leave her. Let's get rid of the inventory screen, because that's in the way. The game has auto-saved. Some great cheese. And some booze. Okay, that's not so bad. And lockpicked! We're now a meddling kid, and we get another skill, and we're going to take crystal healing. So, he so we now have a healing ability quite early on. This is quite good. And the first time I've picked it up, which, considering we're now into... I don't know what video number this is, actually. Picking up the best healing thing in the game now. There we go. Probably should have been done a lot sooner. Ooh, a death. Okay, you are going to be way too tough for me, aren't you? Let's try putting you to sleep. You resist it. No, that death is too tough for me here. Wanda Tesla. I don't know whether this is going to actually apply to... It won't apply to my magic as well, but I might as well go for it. So we can keep burning him, that might be useful. Berserker Rage Blood Manor. Okay, we dealt with you. And we're still electrically charged. One sparkling glove. Which gives me... And they're certainly better. An increased haywire chance, and... What's the other thing it's giving me? I don't actually know what that secondary stat is. It doesn't appear to be on here. By the way, now my chance, my spells have a greater chance of going haywire on me. I don't see that as being a bad thing. What is some side quests? Right, we're going to accept that one, because heck. There's no real reason not to. And we are electrically charged for the moment. Where are those diggles? I think we're out the diggles. But we just had a diggle place without any diggles to protect it? Oh dear. Oh well, I suppose that means then that we can't really disarm that, so we're going to ignore it. And we are back here, and there's no other doors there that we can um, go to, so... Diggles! Burn! Ooh, 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 common cave raven. That's new. Smash. Smash. Right, Berserker rages up. Even food can't save you now! No, but burninating can. Gotcha. So let's have ourselves a diggle egg, and let's have ourselves another diggle egg. And a robe, which not too useful. Yeah, that has confused me there. I mean, Haywire Chance is quite a good um, thing to have. Cascade spell effects are... Didn't realise I could do this, of course, but... Oh, they're all lightly injured. I can't really do a lot more to them at this stage. Oh well, I've wounded them. I can always actually drink some grog and try to um, kill them off, but... Common Cave Raven is no longer afraid, turns to fight. 
and that's armor's... Hello. You appear to be partially distracted. Ow. Necromatic damage. Alright. Let's eat the entire cheese log. And then we're going to keep casting fire spells at you. Because I might as well go for killing, actually. I really lose nothing for doing it, so... There we go. There's one more left, but I think... Now, nah, wasting all my mana on it is probably not the best thing I can do. So, where do we actually want to go here? I think... From here, we've got to use some of the portals, unless there's an area I've missed. I've done it. Where are all these ravens? They come from the start, apparently. And they're on the map. Common cave raven. Coming from outside, of course. Dodge. Smash. Burn. I see you. Smash. Smash. There's got to be a reason why they've suddenly appeared. Two members. Oh, unless they are members of his. Ah, okay. They're actually the um. They're actually the subquest. Smash. Berserk rage. Cease your chattering. There's a re-roll. Burn. Hey, awesome! We got a thing, and the thing we got is a mace weapon, actually, which seems to have some good things going for it. Again, we lose some mana, we gain some resistances, gain some block chances. So I would say, cane blood. Yeah, apparently we're not quite done with these yet. Counter block. Good block chance is good. We still can't really trigger that off. Ah, welcome to the Hall of Traps. It's this one, isn't it? Thankfully, standing on it doesn't seem to want to trigger it. Come on, little baddie. Bang! Yeah, the necromatic damage on top of what we do is good. Right, let's cast a healing. Because that will give us some crystals, and the crystals have healing properties. Something's hurt. But either way, we're going to step on this. Which takes us to an eyeball. No, I actually wanted to pick that up. Alright, I wanted to pick that up, not burn it. So an Ivor Shrine on a Bolt um, thingy. Smash you for vandalism. Pick up some cheese. Gnomes! Well, I might as well smash you. Berserker Rage for seven. And some more blood mana. Tell you what, that book is good. And we smash you and gain a level. The princess is indeed in another castle, and we are going to go now for the rune of exploding. Our plan from the future is going to be to get the wormling and then just build up the massive fireball thing. We're actually going to try and use that rune a bit more than what we have been, because it is certainly possible to use it as a trap. No, oh, it is a trap. It's supposed to be used as a trap, but um, more as a trap than I've been using it. So we get a loot fish cube. And open the door. Done, you resisting our efforts. Smash you. Right. 
have some crystals, please. And open the chest, giving us some random things. Ah. Oh dear, we seem to have unlocked quite a lot of enemies here, so we're going to set up a rune of exploding. And that's why it's good. Large area of effect, and everything burns. So, Mitmus Coal, Hematite, and do we have an ingot press? I don't think we do, no we don't. Right, awesome. Let us make use of it. So we want to have skill, have ingredients, we can actually make quite a lot of things here. Make one of those, one of those. Make a grilled cheese sandwich. I approve. And a deep omelet. Got missing craftables. Uh, apparently, uh, oh, I only have one diggle leg left. So that is not acceptable for this still. What the else can we make here? Uh, the ingot press. We can make some brimstone out of diggle eggs. I don't get it either. But, um, sure. So, have skill, have ingredients. So that's the only thing we can make, the gold solution. What does that actually do, do we think? Or do we want to save our gold? We want to save our gold. Who heard of using up gold? Lobby. Burn. Oi! White! Seems to be resisting that quite well, actually. So I might have to hit you with something else. Let me put it asleep. Some brass piping. Some saw brew. And now we're just going to whack you over the head until you die! Right, so we've made it all the way back round. Picked up a load of random stuff. Let's then go through the second glyph. Still can't really disarm those. Did that second glyph not move us? Okay, apparently there's nowhere else I can go. Which is odd. So we're gonna head down. Where there is a mummy! We're gonna burn things. Twice. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing I had more mana. Berserker Rage! And I guess this the more mana we needed. I think for safety I'm going to drink some grog. And then we're going to head round. We're going to open this door. Well, it's not also death. It is the quest statue, though. And we are indeed going to accept that quest. Because I always am a fool for accepting quest. Right, there's the rune. Right, that got us a lot of... Um, that was fairly easy, actually. So I don't have to worry about that. I kind of hoped it would get multiples, but I suppose there's no harm in going like that. And then... Boom! Oh yeah, the magic rune's awesome. No hard feelings, eh? Ouch. You teleport, you silly little thing. There you go. We'll meet again in Valhalla, not necessarily. I need to be heroic before that happens. And you're also very quick. That we will be drinking more booze, I think. Alright, hit you over the head, because clearly you are that is the better way of doing this. Right. So that didn't lead us to anywhere important. What's in here? Something I have to burn. Hit for seven. And that gets us our 
Ah, oh, darn it, more things. Let's try and put you to sleep, actually. Right. I do need more booze. So we're going to queue up some mana regeneration, and we're then going to queue up some cheese. Yep, there we go. Burn. Whack over the hairs. Counterattacks for toxic. Dodged. Yay, there we go. The army is defeated. 